All right, come on in here. We're mixing clay today. My helper, Nadette, from Washington, D.C., is here for the day, and we're mixing clay. Um, come on in and have a look what's in here. This is a mixture of five different clays, which um, is going to end up being for a wood kiln. We've got to take it out of here, stack it up, and pug it next, and then turn it into pots. But there's a little story behind this solder mixer. About 35 years ago, when I began making pots, I got stuck with a, a bad batch of box clay like a ton of it. And I said, I'm not going to do this anymore. I need a pug mill and I need a mixer. And I was going to buy, which I've been doing for 30 years, buy clays in powder form, which is here, and mix them myself. I can control the stiffness or the softness. I can control the color, the texture. Um, so it gives me much more control than anything out of a box of clay. Okay, now Nadette's unloading the clay and going to set it aside here for plugging next. But the story behind this mixer, and this little speech is about potters helping potters. So 30-some years ago, I was, um, as I said, got stuck with a bad batch of clay. And I went to a craft fair and met a fellow um, in New Jersey at Peters Valley and the craft center there in the park service that the park service owns. And I said to Tom Collins, is his name, he's now in Napa Valley in California making beautiful pots. But I said to him, boy, I'm looking for a mixer because I can't get stuck with bad clay anymore. And he said, well, let me see what I could do, what I can do for you. And I didn't really know the man very well, but we got along famously over that craft fair, and I went to visit him a few times more after that. Well, about a month later, in my little studio, up pulls, or next to my little studio, an 18-wheeler pulls up and says, I got a box for you. I said, whoa, I didn't order anything. Of course, I was thinking more box clay. He said, no, I don't know what it is, but it's from uh, Colorado. And I was questioning, like, what did I order from Colorado? Well, it took a forklift to get this box out of the truck and onto the ground. And I opened it up, and it was this solder mixer. And, of course, I panicked a bit, because in those days, these were almost $3,000. And I didn't have $3,000 when I was starting my, my studio. And I couldn't figure out what to do. So thought about it a bit, and I tracked down Paul Soldner in Colorado, and I called him, and I said, Mr. Soldner, I've got a, a mixer here that just arrived, and quite honestly, I didn't order it, and I'm not sure what the story is. And he said, oh, that's from Tom Collins. I said, what? And he said, yeah, Tom and I are good friends from way back. He helped me design this machine. and." Um, he said, you're a young, biting, talented potter, and you needed a mixer, so I sent you one. And I said, well, thank you very much, Mr. Soldner, but um, I'm not sure how I can pay for this. And he said, send me money when you can. Well, it took me two years to pay this mixer off, sending small checks to Paul Soldner every now and then. But none of this would have happened without Tom Collins helping me out with this machine. And you know, when, when we get between a rock and a hard place, the best thing to do, I think, is call on your peers, call on your mates. And uh, usually they come through for you. So thank you, Tom Collins. 35, 36 years later, this thing's still operating, and it's a workhorse. Um, if you ever get the chance to help out a younger potter, do it. You won't regret it.